Hi everyone, we're back looking at this PVC Schedule 40 plastic pipe uh, pipe chart. So uh, in the last video, we re reviewed the velocity uh, part of the chart, and now we're going to review the um, friction loss side, which is the PSI loss in the chart. And um, so when we go over here, let's say I have 10 GPM, and then we know for 10 GPM that the velocity, we would have a one inch pipe because that's 3.71 feet per second. But now if we wanna know the friction loss, how much pressure we're losing through the pipe, as that's very important, you guys will be learning this in the next couple weeks, is we always wanna have the lowest friction loss possible um, that's reasonable for cost. And so um, this is what then uh, takes away the performance of your system. If you have really high friction loss, then you have no pressure to operate your irrigation system. So in this instance, 10 GPM, one inch pipe. Now we move over to the next column here and you're gonna see that this is 2.39 PSI that we lose. But 2.39 PSI, what does that mean? Well, if you look up here, it says PSI loss per 100 feet of pipe. So for every 100 feet of one inch pipe, we lose 2.39 PSI. So if um, now let's let's do another example. So let's say I had 20 GPM. So 20 GPM. It would dictate that we need inch and a quarter pipe. And then on this one, it would dictate that for every 100 feet of pipe, we lose 2.27 PSI. Now let's say that same 20 GPM, I had half inch pipe. If you look right here on the half inch pipe, that's 109.58 PSI that we lose for 100 feet of half inch pipe. Um, you can see on the column, that especially as the flows get bigger, um, it's not just a linear fashion, but a lot of these, it gets into exponential um, factors of how quickly the, the pressure loss increases as you increase the flow, especially in smaller diameter pipes. And so um, we wanna keep a lower uh, friction loss. So we don't wanna be losing uh, 100 PSI we don't want to be losing eight PSI. We typically like to be in the, um, you know, three to five ish um, PSI per hundred feet um, is, is what we're looking at the standards as you can see here. Um, so next we're going to look at, I'm going to make this a little tougher on you guys. Let's say I have eight PSI or eight GPM. So that gives us the pipe that we're gonna select is gonna be three quarter inch. And that has a friction loss of 5.21. So, but that's for a hundred feet of pipe, let's say you know, on a residential system, I'm not gonna have 100 feet of pipe. Maybe I only have 20 feet of pipe. So how do I figure this out? Well, first, since it's for 100 feet of pipe, my PSI loss is gonna be 5.12. And then I'm gonna divide that by 100, which is gonna give me the PSI per foot of pipe loss. which is this very low 0.0512 PSI per foot. Now you know why they multiply it by 100 feet. So it's 
it's actual numbers um, that are easy to register and deal with. So now we got our per foot of pipe here, and now we're gonna multiply it by our length of pipe. So I said 20 feet. So then I'm going to multiply this by 20 feet. And you're gonna see now our total friction loss for that, that pipe is going to equal 1.02 PSI for that 20 feet of pipe. Okay, so let's do another example. Clear this out for you guys. So what happens if I'm doing 200 feet? And I'm gonna do, let's say 70, five gallons per minute. Let's say I want to do inch and a quarter. So that's 26.17 per hundred feet. As you can see, um, this would this pipe would not be sized correctly um because we're definitely above the five feet per second but let's say this was the case so um we can do the math of 26.17 divided by 100 we're literally just moving decimal places over And then uh, we're multiplying that by 200 because our length is 200. Because now we're at 52.34 is what we lost PSIs for 200 feet of inch and a quarter pipe. So that's quite a bit of friction loss that we have through the system. Most residentials, uh, you would lose almost your entire pressure at the house um, and you'd have little to no pressure at the end of your system if you lost that much. Most homes, it's somewhere between 40 and 60 uh, PSI is available. So when we're then losing 52, um, you have a substantial loss of your system. Um, let's do one final one over here. So let's say I had twelve GPM. We're going to do this one at the one inch. So where the pipe is sized correctly. So that's 3.35. And that is going to be 335. I'm going to make this 30 feet this time for you guys. So 0 0.0335 times 30. That almost gives us the exact same as we had in the upper one. So about one PSI loss for 30 feet of pipe. So let's say I wanted to make this 350 feet. So I'm going to go back. And 
And now for 350 feet of pipe, we're losing 11.725 PSI. So I hope you guys understand how these charts works. There's two sets of information on here. There is velocity and friction loss. Make sure you know what columns you're looking at. On the left-hand side is your flow for your that part of piping. And then you have your pipe sizes going across the top here. And so this will give you all the information. And then coming up here, when we start talking about static and dynamic pressure, is these calculations are really going to help you guys understand all the friction losses that we lose through the system and how to calculate them. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.